Hello everyone, today our lesson is all about sigma notation or also known as summation. So let's start with the definition first. So let f be an expression involving an integer i. The expression f of m, f of m plus 1 plus f of m plus 2 until f of f of n can be written compactly into sigma notation. So this series of addition can be written as summation of f of i where i ranges from m until n. So it can be written into this form. Okay. Let's have an example. Okay, let us expand this sigma notation. So the first one is we have to perform the summation of 2i plus 3 where i ranges from 2 to 4. So what we will be doing here is first we will perform it from 2. So we will be replacing i by 2 here. So it can be written as 2 times 2 plus 3. That is the term when i is equal to 2. Next to 2 is 3. So it means we will be changing i here by 3. So it can be written as 2 times 3 plus 3. And lastly, it will be ended at until when i is equal to 4. So we will add one more term. That is when i is equal to 4. So we have 2 times 4 plus 3. And then we will simplify it. So as we simplify it, we will be doing the math. So this is just equal to 4 plus 3, that is 7. This is 6 plus 3, that is 9. This is 8 plus 3, that is 11. So this is 20, so it is just equal to 27. So summation of 2i plus 3, where i ranges from 2 to 4, is just 27. Next is, next given here is summation of 2 to the i, where i ranges from 0 to 5. So the very first term here is you are going to replace i into 0. So it will be whatever is the form of your function, that should be the form of each term in your in your series of addition. So just like here, when i is 0, it will be 2 to the 0. Then plus, it's plus because it is summation. So next is when i is 1, so it will be 2 to the 1. Then next is 2, so 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, and 2 to the power of 5. So next is we are going to <clears throat> simplify. This is just equal to 1. This is 2, 4, 8, 16, then 32. Then we will be simplifying all, the, all of this. As we combine this part, this is 2 and 8, that's 10. 4 and 16, 20, plus 10, 30, plus 32, 62, plus 1, it's 63. So this is just equal to 63. So summation of 2 to the i, or i ranges from 0 to 5, is just 63. Third one is summation of a to the a sub i, where i ranges from 1 to n. First, we will be changing i into 1, the first term, so a sub 1. The next is 2, so it will be a sub 2, then a sub 3, and so on, until the last term, wherein you will be changing i into n, so it is a sub n. And as you can see, we cannot combine 
any term here. So it will mean that summation of a sub i where i ranges from 1 to n is just equal to a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on until a sub n. Okay, the last one in this slide is this. So this is the form. This is your function, f of x. So you will be perf performing it from n equal to 1 until 6. So it will be now, oops, it will be now when n is equal to 1. So it is just square root of 1 over 1 plus 1. Next is uh, plus. This next is when n is equal to 2. So you have square root of 2 over 2 plus 1. Next is when n is 3, square root of 3 over 3 plus 1. Plus, next is when n is equal to 4. So you have square root of 4 over 4 plus 1. Plus, when n is 5, it will be square root of 5 over 5 plus 1. Then lastly, when n is equal to 6, square root of 6 over 6 plus 1. We will be simplifying whatever we can simplify here. The square root of 1 is 1, so it is just 1 over, this is just 2. The next term, this is just square root of 2 over 3. Next is square root of 3 over 4 plus the square root of 2 is just 2. So it's 2 over 5. Then square root of 5 over 6. Then lastly, square root of 6 over 7. So this the summation of the square root of n where all over n plus 1 where n ranges from 1 to 6 is just equal to this. Okay, let us have more ex examples. Let us have here. This time, it's the other way around. We are given with the expanded form. What we're going to be doing is we are going to uh, rewrite it in the, expand, uh, in the compact form in the sigma notation. So how to rewrite this into sigma notation? So what you're going to be doing is you need to observe what is common in each term. Just like here. As you observe, 1 can be written also as 1 over 1, right? So as you observe, it is constant that the numerator is always 1. So if you will be rewriting it into sigma notation, it is will it will be summation of of, it is very clear that the numerator is 1. And as you observe, the denominator is changing. It keeps on moving. It's increasing. That is coming from 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5. Probably, it will start with the i equal to 1, and it will end and to 100. And in the denominator, since it is changing, so it is it will be, you will be writing here a variable, say i, we use i because it's, it's i here. So this expanded form can be written into sigma notation as summation of 1 over i, where i ranges from 1 to 100. Just simple as that. Next is the number 2. In the number 2, so again, you need to observe what is in your series. As you observe, First, with the sign, the sign is alternating. So again, if you will have summation, so it's one technique. If the sign of your series is alternating, then you will be using the negative one raised to something. And you need to design it in a way that the first term should be negative. And as we all know, negative one raised to an even number is a positive and negative one raised to an odd so negative one raised to any even number is positive but if you have negative one raised to any odd number it's a negative but we want it a negative here 
So, and as we observe, the first term here is consisting with 1 and the last is 25. So, probably here, you will have i. And we will write the exponent later. We will observe it. i ranges from 1 to 25. So, as we see, the i started from 1. So, we want this to be to be negative. So, what we will be doing so that it becomes negative. So, we, we see to it that it will be odd here. So, if we will write i here, and we want that we will be replacing 1 there, that will be negative 1 raised to 1. And that is negative, right? right let, us, let us check. When i is 1, this will be, when i is 1, you have negative 1 raised to 1 times 1. This is negative 1 times 1, it's negative 1. If we will check it with the next term, you will have negative 1 raised to 2, then times 2. Because in that case, your i is equal to 2. So you are replacing all i here into 2. Since this is even, so it becomes positive times 2. So it will be positive 2 and so on. So it means this is correct. Okay. Next is the number 3. In the number 3, again, you need to observe what is happening here. As you observe all... In each term, there is a sub a in the subscript. So it is very obvious that if you will rewrite it into the sigma notation, you have here a sub something. But what is that something? So of course, uh, you will be right starting here when a, no, not a, but i is equal to 1. So if i is 1, you want this to be 2. So probably you will write here 2i. Because when i is 1, that is equal to 2. When i is 2, that is equal to 4. When i is 3, that is equal to 6. So probably this is correct. And it started from 1. But as you observe, it's 2, 4, 6. It, it is by 2. So it will end it not to 20, but it is ended to 10. So it is clear now. Okay. And this is the answer for the number three. Number four for the last one. So you have here, again, you need to observe what is happening in the in each term that you have. So it will be summation of. So as you observe, one can also be written as one over one. And all of the numerator is one, something like the same number one. So it is 1 over something. Okay, how will you write uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 28 into something, an expression? So maybe we can have here 2 because all of them can be written into 2 something, 2 raised to i where i ranges from, if you start it from i equal to 1, it will never be 1 here. So probably you will start here from 0. Okay. And then, if we will uh, if we will try it when i is 0, this is 1 over 2 to the 0 or 1 over 1. It's correct. When i is 1, it is 1 over 2 to the 1 or simply 1 half. When i is 3, uh, 2 rather, so 1 over 2 to the power of 2 or 1 fourth and so on and that is correct. So as you observe, it started from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will end until 7. And that is all for today and hope to see you again for the next video. Thank you and God bless.